My name is Sally Ann Ran. I'm the children's director here at Cornerstone. About 15 years ago, there was a need where we had some children that didn't fit into the regular classroom. They were struggling, their parents weren't able to keep them up in service, they weren't able to be in a regular children's church class, and so some volunteers decided it would be a good idea to start a class for them. I have two children, my daughter Hannah and my son Adam, and my son Adam was diagnosed with autism at age three. You know, Adam, he's such a blessing and joy. He's always smiling and happy. He's always happy. And he's really taught us, you know, to, just to take joy in the little things, every gain he makes. Um, it teaches you to slow down in life, take one day at a time, and draw closer to the Lord through it. Okay, my name is Jackie, and I husband Louis and Sarah and Daniel. Well, Daniel, thank God, he's a, he's a very happy He's happy, very happy, as you can see, always moving around. He loves to hug people, love to sing. Uh, the only problem is, of course, is that he's autistic. Uh, he was diagnosed since he was like two years old. And uh, he's, he's very hyper. We, it, he is 24-7. Uh, you have to um, check on him. You have to help him with almost everything. He's a blessing in many, many ways, but it's also a challenge. Hi, I'm Chrissy, and I'm one of the teachers that works in the special needs room. Well, it's just great to be able to be there and to love those kids while we're there and, you know, to keep them happy and safe and let their parents go to church. To be able to provide for the boys songs about the Lord. Um, at whatever level they can take it in, they are hearing about God, about Jesus, and the parents need church, they need church activities, they need to be fed spiritually like all of us do, and yet their children need a unique kind of um, caring. It's just such a blessing to know that I can come and sit down at church and listen to the message and know that there are people who love him, who are, I mean, these are people with special skills, who love him, who want to help him, who I, I get to have that time for myself. I mean, and to sit as a family during the first service and, and to hear God's word and to praise God and to know that someone is always taking care of Daniel. And, and this ministry is so wonderful. They, they love on him and just to witness it, their dedication and it's just, it's just been such a blessing in our life. Mm -hmm. We couldn't come without it. We'd be coming separately. So we, it, it, it is just a blessing. And especially the teachers with special needs, uh, thank you so much because what you've done is amazing with that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so what they do for me is like the greatest gift that anyone, you know, is, has given me. To be able to take care of my son so that I will be able to worship God, I mean, that is just, it's just wonderful. And I look forward to coming to church knowing that I don't have to worry. It's so important because the church's call is to reach everyone. And so 90% of children or parents with special needs are unchurched in any faith community. And so it's really important that we provide a place for these families to come worship so that the families can go to church and the children can go to church and everyone has a chance to grow in their faith. Well, loving kids with special needs is like loving any child. You love them and care for them, you know, and you just do it the way that they're looking for that love. You know, it might not look like a typical kind of love like a, another child might have, but you kind of, they'll tell you what they need and when you give that to them, you know you're loving them.